Hello everyone! Friends, we noticed how well you adored our section with an overview of the non-football life of our beloved football celebrities. Subsequently, we are to continue it. Do not hesitate to give us a like, because that is what we have in today's issue. Georgina explodes the internet with her beauty again. New supercar for Cristiano Ronaldo. Take a look at Messi's new apartment in Miami. Find out what kind of music Neymar listens to and what sort of business Erling Holland has already started in his 20s. Seems interesting? You bet! Then subscribe and stay with us! And also, let me know in the comments below who is your favorite footballer. Alright, it's time to begin. Let's get going! Georgina Rodriguez continues to blow up the internet with her dancing skills. The 27-year-old bride of Cristiano Ronaldo is famous for such and she also has a great sense of rhythm. This time, almost 25 million fans on Instagram got the opportunity to appreciate the juicy twerking performed by her. Georgina just showed how you can relax your muscles in the rhythm of a booty shake. It is not surprising that this method was appreciated by subscribers with many likes and admiring comments. Things are going very badly for Juventus and the Turin club runs the risk of missing the Champions League zone, which will bring huge financial losses. But Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't seem to care much. Cristiano has added another exclusive novelty to his collection of supercars. This time, the Portuguese became the owner of the two-seater Ferrari Monza Roadster. The acquaintance with the car took place during the visit of the Portuguese to Maranello together with the president of Juventus, Andrea Agnelli, and one of the leaders of Stellantis car concern, John Elkan. The Monza can accelerate to 100 km per hour in 2.9 seconds, and the speedometer needles crosses the 200 km per hour mark in 7.9 seconds after the start. The maximum speed of Monza is 300 km per hour. Ronaldo is also the proud owner of the Mercedes AMG G63, Bugatti Cento Dieci, Bugatti Chiron, Bugatti Veyron, Lamborghini Aventador, in black and white, Rolls Royce Cullinan, Chevrolet Camaro, two Ferraris F12, a black one and a white one, McLaren Senna, Range Rover Sport, and Mercedes G Wagon Brabus. Congratulations with the purchase, Cristiano! Cristiano Ronaldo and Georgina Rodriguez continue to be actively involved in charity work. Celebrities decided to join the Sara Carrera Association, created to support talented young artists. 21-year-old Sara tragically died in a car accident in December last year. And now a special fund will take place in Portugal to help aspiring artists to make their dreams come true. We are a part of this dream, wrote Cristiano in a short video posted on his Instagram page. The Juventus star striker and his beloved Georgina paint a heart with their hands showing their involvement and tremendous support within the Sara Carrera Association. And what about Messi and Antonella? They are fine! You can congratulate the guys on their new purchase too! The family of Barcelona striker Lionel Messi has acquired a luxury apartment in Sunny Isles Beach, a city of Miami-Dade County. The Messi family paid $7.3 million for the entire ninth floor in Regalia, an apartment building on Collins Avenue. It was bought by a company run by Jorge Messi, Lionel's father. Two and a half years ago, the Argentine was already buying an apartment nearby for $5 million, in Porsche Design Tower, about 10 blocks south in Sunny Isles. Messi's new apartment has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, 2,100 square feet, it's about 640 meters of terraces and a 1,000 bottle wine cooler. The 39 floors Regalia building features six pools, a spa, fitness center, yoga studio, chef's kitchen, champagne bar and wine cellar. This week, Neymar's interview with the world-famous GQ magazine came out. We highlighted for ourselves the importance of music in the daily life of the PSG and the Brazilian national team star. When we play at home, I lock myself in my bedroom and listen to music. It's always different music, according to my mood. I do this to get in the right mood for the match. 
When I arrive at the stadium, I try to create a good mood for everyone. I want everyone around to smile and laugh, Neymar said. As for the favorite styles of music, the 10th number of Paris Saint-Germain picked the following genres. Pagode, a samba subgenre, Brazilian funk, hip-hop, and reggaeton. If you want to be like Neymar, listen to the Pagoda buddy, and we are moving on. Guardiola is going to return to Barcelona. Why do we think so? It's all about the following story. Manchester City head coach Pep Guardiola bought a home in Barcelona that was once owned by Rafael Marquez when he was performing for the Catalan club. According to Chronicle Global, this lavish property in the exclusive Pedro Alves area was bought by Guardiola from a Russian oligarch in February. A house of 741 square meters on an area of 2,000 square meters is estimated at 10 million euros. The mansion on three floors has a heated pool, panoramic city views, gardens, and a backyard with a garage for at least four cars. Friends, we highly recommend you to sign up for coaching courses. Perhaps someday you'll work so hard you'll be able to buy such a house of your own. The trend for disturbing stories with the robbery of the families of famous footballers continues. After the not very pleasant story with the robbery of Di Maria's family, another incident happened. This time, the family of PSV striker Aaron Zahavi suffered. While on the way to Tilburg for the match against Willem on the bus, Zahavi talked to his wife on the phone. She said that their house was attacked by robbers. The whole team was shocked. Zahavi went home immediately. The site NOS.nl quotes the Amsterdam newspaper Head Parole. The criminals were impersonating couriers. They threatened with weapons, attacked Zahavi's wife and tied her up. There were three children in the house. 20-year-old Borussia Dortmund striker Erling Haaland is taking his first steps in business. The Norwegian became a shareholder and representative of the Hyperice technology company, which specializes in muscle recovery. The Hornets forward personally tests the products of technical progress, contributing to the further growth and popularization of the brand. I've used Hyperize recovery tools before and after matches for years to help me maintain and compete at the highest level. It's amazing to be a part of their distinguished global athlete roster as Hyperize technology not only helped me to get to the top of the game but also keeps me there," Holland said. Well, the Norwegian knows how to properly advertise his product. Good luck in your business, Erling! In the nomination girl of the week, we have Antonella Rakuzzo. Leo Messi's wife is now 33 and she keeps herself in amazing shape. The Argentinian is a boxer and she regularly works out in her home gym. Antonella again surprised her 13.4 million Instagram followers after she added a video of her deadlift exercise, an impressive weight that Messi's sweetheart easily handles. Our respect, Antonella! And the fantastic Alisa Schmidt, the most gorgeous athlete who works in Borussia Dortmund this season and accordingly is a fan of the Hornets, wins in the nomination for the female supporter of the week. She is responsible for fitness training and running drills. But it seems to us that Dortmund footballers sometimes have no time for running when they see such a beauty in front of them. Friends, we hope that it was interesting for you throughout the video and you will reward us with a like. Well, it was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.